All right, hey guys. Uh, this week we have my good friend Danny Gonzalez on the podcast. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, we just fucking talked about dumb shit. We joked, we laughed, we giggled a bunch. It was a fun time. So yeah, uh, enjoy, hope you enjoy it. You know, like for all that shit. Tell your friends about it, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, enjoy episode ninety four uh, with my buddy Danny Gonzalez. Let's get into the episode. Do I have to do the, the intro again? Uh, I'll do it. Oh. Okay, uh, oh, welcome okay. back to the podcast, everyone. This is episode 2000. No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't listen to him. Curtis is about to die. Um, <laughs> his whole family is so sad. And uh, we're just going to do this one last podcast for the culture. This is my final wish. <laughs> 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 we're talking about, like... Co- a coronavirus and it's like 60 years from now they're like this is not current anymore <laughs> I don't know. um this is actually episode uh 800 or you got me saying it 94 94 okay 94 and 90 no stop <laughs> you're adding so many years to my life uh, i don't want them um this other voice is not me doing a good little bitch impression it is my good friend Danny Gonzalez, he's here on the pod. Say hi. What did? Did you just call me a Say little hi. bit? Oh, hi. There we go. Yeah. It's me, a little bitch. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. Oh, I proved him right. <laughs> uh, all right, that's all I need from you. See ya. All right, see you, dude. <laughs> um. So yeah, Danny has uh, graciously the. The noble Danny Gonzalez has graciously graciously lent me his time to be on the podcast. Um, I did it very graciously. Yeah, it was almost a little too gracious, but it was it was on the line for sure. That's all I. That's the only way I know how to be is too gracious. <laughs> too gracious, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're uh, we're gonna shoot the shit. I guess we're gonna go pew pew, and it's gonna be cool. <laughs> Direct hit, direct <laughs> shit. You're, sh- you're shooting and I'm shitting. <laughs> it's like uh, when you shoot those like clay pigeons, you like fling them into the air and shoot. Yeah. So I just got clay- my butt like aimed into the air for you. Right, and I sh- yeah shoot your butt. Wait, you say- do they shoot clay pigeons? That's what those those discs are called that you shoot with like a shotgun. They're, they don't really look like pigeons. They're just called clay pigeons. Oh, because they would shoot. Pit, just real pigeon. Un- yeah, because if, they, regu- if they weren't shooting those, they'd be shooting real pigeons. So they're like, well, we might as well make some out of clay. <laughs> and- <laughs> or we're gonna run out of pigeons real fast. <laughs> oh god, yeah. I wish pigeons were actually shaped like that. They were just flat discs <laughs> with, with feathers on. <laughs> just like <laughs> you're like eating in New York City, and all these like feathery discs <laughs> slide up to you. <laughs> Two little feet. Oh, walking up. Oh, that's so weird. Look I didn't these. know that they were called clay pigeons. Yeah, I hope they are. This could be another one of those fern moments where <laughs> yeah. I'm just totally yeah. wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. That would be a really weird thing to be wrong about, too. It's such a specific thing to be wrong about. <laughs> There's no <laughs> such thing as clay pigeons. <laughs> I just made them up. <laughs> oh, there goes the clay pigeon. Uh, well, well uh, how's, your, uh, how's your quarantine going? Um... You know, I it's going like pretty good. I feel like it's going as good as it can. Like I haven't gotten yeah. sick. No one I know has gotten sick, so that's really nice. I'm glad. But um, yeah, that's and good. like I'm you, I'm sure you're the same way. Where it's like we already work from home, so it's not like it's it's that much different. And I still have a job and and uh, right yeah. And Laura's yeah. just doing school, so all of her classes have just gone online. So she's she's sweet too. Yeah. What yeah. About so you? I'm pre- yeah. Yeah, pretty much the same. It's like, uh, it's yeah, literally like it's just weird. It's weird because like, literally nothing has changed for mm. me. But like, it feel I feel like it has because I know I'm not allowed to go do things. <laughs> so now it's like I'm like ah oh, well, ah. I just feel like I don't know. It's a weird thing where like I know I'm I probably wouldn't be doing anything, but still the fact that I can't do it, it's like I don't know. Yeah, it sucks. That's probably true too. Like I feel like I've been wanting to go out more than I would if I could yeah yeah like i just find myself being like (laughs) want to go more than i would if i if i could could it's a a quarantine rap uh quarantine rap battle 
Yeah, I like late at night. I keep being like, "Oh, I wish I could go get ice cream," and it's like I never do that when I'm yeah. when I can. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could just go to a baseball game. It's yeah. like, I don't do that ever, but yeah, never been to a baseball game in my whole life. But I'm like, right. oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta go see the Cubs play. <laughs> at this time of night, I'd be front row at the baseball game. Yeah, is do they call that front row? I don't uh, know. Well, you can be like. Right behind home plate at the baseball game. That's like the best spot, right? Yeah, because then you can see the uh, the batter's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Here, That's... batter butt, batter butt. <laughs> and they poke it a little bit just to tease the crowd, and they scream. Mm. And then the and then the batter turns around and shoots poop out of his butt, and the pitcher throws. <laughs> <laughs> and you shoot it. <laughs> uh, Clay yeah, shit. I don't know. I've been like, I guess I've been like doing more like indoorsy stuff i've been playing a lot of mario kart that's pretty um, indoorsy yeah like a really like an ungodly amount of mario kart i i uh. my i've been playing with my friends so like almost every night one of them will text me and be like hey do you want to play mario kart and we'll just play for like three <laughs> hours and <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you'd think you'd get bored of mario kart after that after that long but there's nothing else to do so right and yeah it's it's weird because mario kart is like i know there's like there's only like a, a only so many tracks right oh, and you yeah. think and like you'd think you could you'd be like oh this is this is done by like the first hour but i totally understand that's like yeah. a it's a game you could play forever there was a did you did you ever play the other uh, one for n64 probably i had an n64 so i probably played it yeah that was i played that one so much man it was there was one uh there was one level the wario level um where you could like i knew it i knew like a shortcut for it that was like a glitch where like i hop over the wall and i would and i would like whenever i go to like a new friend's house and they didn't know i could do that i'd be like <laughs> <laughs> let's just go to, let's play the wario level and then i would do that and then they get really pissed at me but i've been kind of doing time. that too because there's one level that I, I'm really good at, but it's just because it's, like, one of the levels where there's not much going on. Because you know how mm-hmm. there's levels where there's, like, cars and shit that drive on the road and hit you? Or there's, like, just shit that gets in your way, but I found, yeah. like, the most basic track. It's Moo Moo Meadows, for those wondering. But I, I it's, like, the only track that I can beat my friends at. So, like, every time I'm like, <laughs> let's try Moo Moo Meadows this time. That'd be fun. Yeah, let's just give that a go. I, haven't, I don't think we've done that yet, or I don't know. Let's Moo just Moo do Moo Moo again. I, oh, I, okay. I thought the, you were saying I don't know if you've done Moo Moo Meadows yet, and I was going to say think well, I we have. should try it because <laughs> I'll win. Yeah, I know. I don't think I've played. No, the only time I think I've played Mario Kart on Switch, I think we played it for like one second at your house. That oh yeah, probably. And I never played it since mm. or before. Or then. I don't know. Or then I did. I've never played it. I wasn't actually playing. <laughs> I was never I had in your the, house. <laughs> I was never. I don't know who you are. I had the controller in my hand, but I wasn't playing. I was pretending. Um, fuck. I, it's so weird to like these podcasts. I've been like trying to find out like every week. I'm like, fuck. What do I talk about now? Because it's literally I haven't done anything. Or I haven't gone anywhere. Oh yeah. Usually, usually it'll be like oh, I'll like talk about this like a show that I just did or like. You know, a show I just did, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or some t- or like a show that I just did. But like sometimes, like like now, it's just like, well, I had a had a sandwich for lunch. Yeah, you could so. talk about a show that you d- that you didn't just do, but you did a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, good idea. Anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was wondering, like, like daily vloggers and stuff. Like, what do you do now? Right. I don't really watch any daily vloggers, so I don't know what they are doing, or if they're doing anything. Yeah. Um, are there even I know, daily that's... vloggers anymore? I guess there's, like, I don't know. family. There's, like, yeah, is that every day, though? Is it every day, bro? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. But they it's must, every but day, their house though. is basically, like, a fucking mall so i <laughs> true yeah they have like they employees that anyway. they, have a, they have a gap and a baby gap there for all the family members uh i'm gonna search daily vlog on youtube and see if there's anything okay because okay well they upload like a couple times a week i guess they're not like daily daily but right uh someone 
Okay. So I <laughs> searched daily vlog. The first one that comes up was uploaded 12 months ago. And oh, no. the one after that was three years ago. So I guess daily vlog is kind of on the on oh, the decline. Is, is, there, is the Casey Neistat one the one from three years ago? Because I looked it up and that was that came up for me. Oh, the one trick to 2.5 million subscribers? No, I got a different one. It's called my last daily vlog from three years ago. Oh, what did you search? Just daily vlog? Daily vlog. And we got different results? Yeah, but I mean, you know, YouTube knows we have different interests. No. So you, what, what, what was the title of yours? Oh, I see the Casey Neistat one that you're talking about. What was the first one you saw? It says one trick to 2.5 million subscribers. Okay, so yeah, because YouTube knows that you're more interested in just getting views, so it gave you okay. that as well, a result. Okay, and uh, I guess not... it knows that I'm really interested in watching people quit, so it gave me my last <laughs> daily vlog. <laughs> I just really like watching people's like spirits be totally drained from them, and then have yeah. no motivation to keep going. <laughs> All of your Rick. You poured water in your cereal. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Did you hear that? That was so sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, the good thing about that is we put milk in our Brita, so she's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, but if it, oh, we'll tell Jenna I said hi. Tell her. Okay, Jenna. Danny says hi. Oh wow! Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Well. No, you don't want to hear it. What'd she, you say? She was like, don't ever <laughs> say that name in this house again. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, I don't know what that but was about. But you're still allowed to record the podcast with me? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. She's okay, okay. with that. As long as, I don't, okay. as long as I don't say your name. Um, if you poured water or milk into a Brita, do you think it would become water when you poured it out? I think so because it takes all the because it whatever when I put like dirty water in the top like clean water comes out so you, with that logic when do you wait you put anything dirty water that in I, it? anything that I put in the let me finish so angry immediately <laughs> you're not allowed to say anything this is my podcast let me finish so I put dirty stinky gross toilet water in my brita and then clean water comes out so Wait, i think oh it... let me finish i put <laughs> okay, all right. I'm sorry so but with that logic anything you put in the brita clean water will come out like if you put like like pee or like um or like my pee or um just like dirty pee in there uh i think like clean water would just come out <laughs> so yeah i think pee... milk my pee or, <laughs> or dirty, dirty pee. pee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, what were you saying before? Well, you it just interrupted? sounds like you have been putting dirty, stinky toilet water in your Brita. And I just wanted to make sure that that's not something you've actually been doing. Because I don't think it's supposed... I don't really think it takes out that much from the water. Then why Then why have it? You know? Well, I think why it's make for it? water that's already pretty safe. And it's just to give you that last like 10%. But if it's water that's already got pee and poop in it, I don't, I don't know if it's, you know, ten percent better than pee and poop is still like, kind of pee and poop. So what do? Okay, this is just kind of catching me off guard a little bit. What? So what am I supposed to do with the water in my toilet when I'm done? Let me. Okay, so let me get your perspective. You thought that what you're supposed to do with the pee and poop in your water is put it in your Brita. And then drink it? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm confused about how you figured that out. But what you're supposed to do with it is just flush it down the toilet. Have you ever seen the lever on the toilet where you pee? Okay. And you... You're... Okay, what is this? An engineering class. You're talking about levers now. What my... My, my toilet, as you're calling it, right? Like when you walk into you, it, well, you call it that first. <laughs> <That's> your, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make up that word. <laughs> I think I said it because you said it. So like, I want to be I, on the same page as you. You're the guest. Okay. Yeah. Um. So this toilet. What does your toilet look like? Is what I'm asking. 
It's like a big, it's like a white bowl, I guess, like a porcelain white bowl. Okay, it's, it's got big. a tank behind it. Oh. White tank. Okay. So we, okay. So it sounds like you don't, you, I, we have different looking toilets. I think so. Yeah. Mine's more of a, like a plastic, small, like, uh, one would call one like to the untrained eye. One would probably call it like a bucket, uh, <laughs> and okay. I, but to your highly trained eye, it, it's not a bucket. Does it look different than a bucket? Um, no, I don't think so. I think it, it looks <laughs> like to the untrained eye. Like I said, it looks like a bucket, and so you've been shitting and peeing in a bucket. Yeah, and then I kind of bring it. I like pick it up. I I kind of like waddle over to the fridge with my pants around my ankles still oh <laughs> and... so you <laughs> so you're still fully like pants down yeah and like did i you didn't say you wipe or anything so you just kind of oh waddle no over. no no i don't i don't believe in that so i pick it up like a and i with my pants around my ankles shirt like behind my head and like i jersey myself and then i kind of waddle over to the fridge i open the fridge take out my brita um I kind of like gag a bit because it smells so bad, you know. And then yeah, yeah, definitely, of course. And then and then I kind of just like pour the contents of the bucket into the bread. I kind of stuff it down with a, with like a I don't know, you know, like a like a ladle or a, a knife, whatever's whatever whatever I can get my hands on, you know. And then I, <laughs> and then uh, and then yeah, I just kind of let the bread do its work. And then you know, like clockwork, every you know, like twenty half twenty minutes, half hour later, I got some uh, drinking water. You know, I was going to say that that's probably really unhealthy, but I think if it was, like, if you were really drinking pee and poop and it had all the bad stuff in it, you'd probably be dead by now. So I think it might actually be fine. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that's honestly, what Honestly, I, I got to start trying that. <laughs> now we're talking. Imagine how much money I could save on water if I never have to flush the toilet, but I also never have to pour myself water out of my sink like a normal person exactly. does. Yeah, exactly. Because that's gr from your sink. You don't trust. I wouldn't trust that. Where you don't know where it's been, right? Well, I mean, you kind of do. You don't. It gets treated at like a water treatment facility usually, and then. <laughs> yeah, but who's in charge of that? The corporate bigwigs, right? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And you, I guess and you I can't guess, trust I guess that. The, they do have pretty big wigs. So I'm I'm doing <laughs> very long, long hair. <laughs> um so i'm doing i'm doing the noble thing that's such um, a funny phrase big wigs yeah that, i don't know does that come from like uh like colonial times when people would wear like powdered wigs or like who I, is this I like guess? who is the rich guy with like a really big wig that everyone's <laughs> upset with yeah and that's like his only discernible feature was that they needed like a nickname for him so they're like well i guess he's He's got a big wig, so I guess we can call him a. And everyone I don't who's greedy like him's got a big wig too. Maybe it's like if corporate people have like big heads, or because mm. they're like very egotistical or something. Then their wigs must Maybe. be big too. Yeah, if you got a big head, you can't have a <laughs> tiny wig. I just picture like a bunch of like men in business suits, like Jeff Bezos looking guys, but they've got like a Nicki Minaj <laughs> type wig that's like a <laughs> pink, like short bob, you know. <laughs> <laughs> those big wigs on wall street with their beautiful luscious hair <laughs> yeah <laughs> their big fat asses and their nice suits and their beautiful hair and they're great <laughs> and their great discography they're all Nicki minaj <laughs> and they're all Nicki minaj <laughs> um okay so i'm looking up the origin of the phrase big wig so the fashion for wigs began with the bourbon kings of france uh louis the Seventh went prematurely bald and took to wearing a wig. By the middle of the century, and especially during the reign of Louis the Eighth, the Sun King, <laughs> wigs were virgin. <laughs> the Sun uh, the King? <laughs> yeah, that's what they just casually called him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna gloss yeah. over the fact that there was a King of the Sun. Yeah, let's dial that back. Hold on. Sun dial you know, the King back. of the Sun. Nice. Louis the Eighth, the King of the Sun, wigs were virtually obligatory for all European. Okay. Okay, hmm. so I guess okay. They, so wigs were expensive to purchase, so you had to be like a rich guy to have a wig. So I guess that's where like corporate rich uh, big wigs came from. Okay. What about fat? Cats? Oh, no. fat cats. Yeah. Have you ever heard that? Like the fat cats on Wall Street. Oh, I have heard that. 
Because I feel like that means um, a similar thing, right? The big wigs, the fat cats. Right. Fat cat with a big wig. <laughs> now that I'd like to see. <laughs> a fat cat with a big wig? <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's a political... I don't know where it came from. And they're, they're, they wrote too much. And I don't want to read all of it. Hmm. I googled I feel fat like... cat, but I just searched for images. So now I'm just looking at like a picture of a really fat cat smoking a cigar with like a nice three piece tux. Oh, nice! I, I, you got a better result than I. Google knows that you like fat cats with cigars, <laughs> <laughs> and it knows I'm a man of facts. Um, yeah, it I guess kno- uh, it knows you would really like to worship the sun. Yeah, the sun king. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I meant to, I was going to talk about this regardless. Um but do you uh have you been getting do you get a lot of similar ads on YouTube? Um I usually don't get any cuz I have like uh YouTube Premium or whatever. Oh, um, but I also have Wow, we were talking about big wigs and I'm talking to a big wig myself. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I you know I had to flex on him. I pay that five dollars a month or whatever. But I also have an ad block on my computer, so I don't think I'd get them anyway. So I oh. guess I don't even know why I pay for YouTube Premium. Right. <laughs> to watch all the the um, the Liza Koshy show or whatever. I, th- I actually I think I got it to watch the Vsauce show. Have you ever watched that? Oh no, I haven't. Oh, it's pretty is interesting. It, is it good? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I used to watch your videos all the time. Um, Liza Koshy. Well, she's in Vsauce, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Then yeah. She is Vsauce. Yeah, I'm in Vsauce. Um everyone's in Vsauce. I'm in Vsauce. Yeah. Um too much Vsauce. I was going to say cuz I get a lot of masterclass ads. Mm. Um like on every video and like, I got one what like, for? Like just for all of them. I get a lot, I got like um Gordon Ramsay one, like he teaches cooking obviously. Okay. Um <laughs> It'd be cool if he came out with like a a coding one or something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's teaching like assassination or something. <laughs> yeah, murder for hire. Uh, um, this is how you sh- you can use by sh- you can practice by shooting clay pigeons. Mm. Um, then you can work your way up to non clay pigeons. Then clay <laughs> humans. Clay humans. <laughs> clay and then clay Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Ramsay teaches you how to kill Clay Aiken. <laughs> oh, <master class. laughs> Killing Clay Aiken. As if he's done it so many times before. <laughs> he's the first. He has two passions in life cooking and murdering Clay Aiken. <laughs> Clay Aiken is immortal. He keeps on coming back. He's uh, uh he's one of those he's one of those Wall Street fat cats with nine lives. <laughs> he's almost out though. Um, see, so yeah, I get a lot of <clears throat> Gordon Ramsay ones, which I get because I like I watch like binging with Babish and stuff, and like yeah. like um Bon Appetit and stuff. Um, so that makes sense. But then I also I got one yesterday that was from. It was a master class taught by. Uh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, Chris uh, Hadfield. Yeah, that's it. The, yeah, <laughs> the that's what you the saw. yeah that's oh, so, okay. See, so you knew that already. Yeah, I was there. Uh, okay. I don't. How? How are you here? That was in my room in I'm Toronto. Right behind you. Turn around. <laughs> oh my god, God, he's here. How did I not hear you? Uh, so I got one from Chris. I got a master class from uh, that was hosted by Chris Hadfield, the astronaut guy. And it was him teaching people how to be an astronaut. Oh. Which is, which I thought was really weird. Yeah. Because, well, because yeah. you can't, you can't just like, like cooking is a thing you can just start at home if you want. And you can practice at home. Yeah. yeah. But an astronaut, that's like a lifelong thing he you te- have to he like teaches you how to like build your own rocket and shoot yourself up into space <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and like dock to the international space station you just show up and they're like what the fuck are you how did you get here <laughs> like the master class like damn it chris stop teaching people 
Yeah, what if it was just that easy? Like, it was actually a really easy thing, just nobody tried it. You just have to turn your car to rocket mode, and then you can uh, just go up yeah. instead of forward. And okay. And then you just drive up to the space station. <laughs> it's it's going to be a long drive, but... Yeah, probably like 15, 20 minutes, but oh. it's worth oh, it for yeah. the view. For the, for the nice view. That's why astronauts go to space, for the view. Yeah, well, for the gram. Yeah, for the, <laughs> for the gram and the view. They go up to the space station and watch the view on TV. Oh yeah, um, I'm looking at the masterclass website right now. It says Chris Had Hadfield. Is that his name? Hadfield. Hadfield. Yeah. He, it, he had it's a field. Class on go going to space for the gram is what it's called. Did it say that? Yeah, that's the name of the class. Chris it's Hadfield. <laughs> How going to go to s- space for the gram masterclass. I. And it, the picture is like a picture of him like flexing his muscles with his shirt off, like on <laughs> in space, no suit. <laughs> I are we looking at the same website? Yeah, masterclass, right? Masterclass dot com. Yeah, it's right under Neil deGrasse Tyson, scientific thinking and communication for the Graham. <laughs> <laughs> it's like him standing shirtless. Flexing his muscles in front of a chalkboard with like some equations I, on it. I don't know what kind of browser plugin you you have <laughs> <laughs> that changes every website into people <laughs> shirtless and flexing for the gram. But I, for the gram, but I want it. Um, yeah, because I'm on the masterclass website, and it says Chris Hadfield. He's teaching space exploration. Does it say for the gram? Uh, it. No, it doesn't say for the gram. It says watch oh. trailer, get started, single class. And but he's then not get. wearing a shirt, right? No, he's we- he's wearing two shirts actually. He's wearing an undershirt and like a sweater. Even his upper lip is wearing a shirt. He has a big mustache. <laughs> so mustache is basically just a shirt for your upper lip. <laughs> well, I don't know how he expects to go viral on the gram with that kind of. Yeah, but... I. <laughs> that's. That is the only, uh, that is the true be all end all goal of all these professions. Um, Did you watch? Yeah, so it's not even how to be an astronaut, it's space exploration. So he's like yeah. assuming you're already in space and, and he's like, yeah. and you need to <laughs> this learn is how where, to explore. <laughs> <laughs> this is where to go from once you're on the space station, this is how you go out and explore. Yeah, the very first lesson starts with like, so you've made it to space, and you're in <laughs> space now. And you're just in your room like, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, I think I missed a lesson or two. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, Did you watch the trailer? Yeah, it, well, I watched like the first like 10 seconds of it. Um, oh. oh, I have, okay, so I have the, I have the lesson plan here. Oh, yeah, so, okay, I see it too. Yeah, so you got the introduction... And then you got how rockets work. It's called rockets, colon, how rockets work. Rockets. How rockets how work. How rockets work. <laughs> and then oh, and rockets. The next one is rockets, what it feels what like it feels to launch. Like to launch. <laughs> and then the. The whole thing uh, is just rockets. Like, <laughs> rockets. How the seat uh, feels in the rocket. <laughs> yeah, rockets. What the food is like on the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the ISS. So, oh, yeah. So it's like. It's not really like how to become an astronaut. It's like what it's like being an astronaut. Yeah. He's like well, that's bragging. It's not really a class, is it? Right, it's a f- it's a master flex. Is what it is. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. That's some master sass right there. <laughs> master sass from the ass, the sastronaut the, himself. For the gram. For the gram and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do see that. Listen, it's conclusion uh the future of exploration for the gram hmm. Damn. so he doesn't quite get to that to the last one All right well that's the you know you got to finish strong i guess yeah i just thought that was weird because um that's not really a skill that you can be like you can like just learn yeah. you, like the first oh go ahead oh i was just gonna say like the whole thing could just be like 10 minutes it's like this is how you become an astronaut you you train a lot and then you go to nasa and you train there and then for a yeah. long time i feel like a lot of them are like navy seals or stuff but like before that aren't they or like in the military and stuff so like there's that whole yeah thing too. right so it's like a lot it's a lot of stuff you have to do yeah i don't know that's crazy i didn't realize how many like master classes there were because i looked at this like a long time ago because i wanted to 
learn more about like uh, music production and stuff. So I f- mm-hmm. saw that Dead Mouse had one, and I was like thinking about doing that. But they've got like a shit ton now. Yeah, there's a lot. There's like I saw one where like Natalie Portman did one. Yeah. For like acting, is RuPaul. He teaches self expression and authenticity, which is cool. Poker Whoa. strategy. Wow. The Dobre brothers are on here. Cool. cool. They, they are. Yeah, there's just like a video on here called Dobre Brothers Pranking My Girlfriend 100 Times in 24 Hours Challenge. It's not even a master class. It's just like okay. they just so you're on... got like a prank video on here. On master class website? Yeah. Oh. I mean, that. damn. That's pretty cool. That's <laughs> the... <laughs> they're kind of... I mean, they always say don't put all your eggs in one basket. So now they're on... Off YouTube, now they're on master class. Master that's, class. that's the new wave, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a master everyone, classer. Yeah, like last year, everyone was like starting podcasts and stuff. This year, everyone's yeah. doing a master class. <laughs> oh, that'd be so... F- if, if anyone could just have a master class. Oh, dude, that'd be cool. We should try to do one. We I'm should at, try to yeah, that, pitch one. That'd be them. cool. Yeah, we could do like a... The Clay Aiken one. Yeah, that's good. Because that's not because, taken, right? No, I don't think so in any way. I, I, yeah, I'd be down for that. Yeah, or just one that's like so specific that no one but you could do, like just being Curtis Connor. <laughs> yeah, so you're Curtis Connor, huh? Yeah, so you were born Curtis Connor, and you're Curtis <laughs> Connor, and you're me, and you're watching this. That's a <laughs> now good what start. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're not, if those, if those aren't the criteria that you meet, just f- why are you buying this thing? <laughs> Get off here! Oh, you need the. Oh, your name is Chris Edfield, and you're an astronaut good start um fuck yeah we should do a master class i'm down if you were to do a master class what would what would yours be uh having a big fat ass probably oh master ass yeah or maybe uh get like getting first place in moo meadows <laughs> not yeah not just not in mario kart no just, only moo meadows yeah i don't any other track i'm lost I'm right. 12th place I guaranteed. I don't even know how to how the game works on these other tracks. Yeah, my brain just goes totally numb. I just yeah. the controllers fall out of my hands. I kind of um, just like shit and piss all over my couch, and I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just it's a it's a mess. Piss and shit into my Brita filter, and just yeah, I just kind of smush it down to make myself some water. Um, what would you oh, do yeah, master what? class on? Uh. I don't know. Probably just being like a, like a just like a god among men. I think <laughs> just being like the visionary of our time, like kind of like yeah. the voice of a generation. <laughs> yeah. It's like how to become the sun king, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard because it's like I c- you can't really teach those things. You kind of just have to be born with it. I know. Yeah, it's like kind of like an astronaut. You kind of have to be born an astronaut. You kind of just have to be born in space. I'm pretty sure to be an astronaut. <laughs> yeah, by some sort of space vagina. You yeah. got to be squirted out there. Um, oh, I wanted to uh, talk about something really quick that we have in common. Okay. Um, so we both we both put our piss and shit in Brita filters, and that's and that's decided on, uh, and that's fine. Well, but okay. we also have another thing in common. We both uh, wanted to be magicians when um, we were younger. I was wondering if you were going to bring this up. Well, your, your you little were? baby, huh? Little baby who gives up on his dreams. Okay, I was okay. I was hoping you wouldn't bring that up because that was. Now we have to explain that bit. All right, um, it's not a bit. So okay, it is for for everyone who wasn't on the tour bus with me and Curtis, when we were doing <laughs> which this is bit. which is everyone listening. Because yeah, I think even Drew was asleep when we were doing this. So yeah. Uh, so Curtis and I both like had that phase when we were kids where we wanted to be magicians right because it's a phase <clears throat> go on it's a lifestyle and so okay, Curtis, Curtis like wanted to be a magician so he started trying to learn magic tricks or something and then it turns out he like gave up on his dreams and he doesn't even know okay. any magic tricks now he no, he went okay. through a whole magician phase he knows no magic tricks so I was like showing him magic tricks on the bus and he was like so amazed that I could do them because he, he I was, was like okay. amazed that someone even had the like the follow through to not give up on their and dreams. No. 
that's not what I was amazed at. I wasn't even amazed, really. I was like, wow, that's you still know tricks from when you were, huh? You came. I don't think I did. So amazed. I'm pretty did sure I, I remember that. I don't think I did. Yeah, I think so. Or maybe I mean, that I was someone else, but I think it was you. That might have been Drew. Yeah. Oh, yeah well, probably. It could have been him. No. Okay. Well, if I was come, it was because of something else. I wasn't because of your <laughs> magic trick. <laughs> yeah, I guess was there was, there was, something a, there else was like was... a lot going on at the time. It could have been anything. <laughs> yeah, like... there was. That was a whole thing. Yeah. But no, I, I do know one magic trick. Did and you, did you show me one? Yeah. What was it? It was the the quarter in the pot in the in the in the soda can. You don't remember that I showed it to you? I guess okay. I I think I vaguely remember this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it didn't really leave a lasting impression on me. I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, what made you give up on your dream? Because you don't still do you you don't do magic anymore, huh? right? You okay? You heard me. You don't do you don't do magic anymore, right? Uh, I, well, you can't just say "huh" uh, when well, you don't want to well, answer well, something. Uh, I, I don't know who was doing magic tricks on the bus. You, I guess. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, you yeah. didn't. So you still do magic regularly, is what you're saying? Enough. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the episode, but uh, Danny's audio and video kind of glitched, and we lost a couple minutes of video and audio. Um, I don't know, maybe he was being too mean to me about the whole magic thing. I don't know. Who's to say? Um, we skipped over a little bit, but now it's just back to me talking about uh, clay pigeons. All right. Okay, it is called clay pigeon. You're right. Oh, you just looked it up just now? Uh, no, I looked it up like yesterday. I'm just remembering <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm. well, so did you not believe me for this long? Have you been thinking about that this whole time? Like what? How, the clay pigeon? How could I have not how could I not have known? The clay pigeon thing? Yeah, the clay pigeon thing. No, I was think I I was I looked it up yesterday before I even we even talked. And I was remembering just now that that's what that was called. Okay. Well, I heard I saw it yeah. sounded like I heard like clicking and typing and then you said, "Oh, so they, they are called clay pigeons." Like you were looking at something that you just googled. <laughs> what? You, I mean, you heard me. I don't. What? You're cutting out. You're freezing. Um, no, I didn't. If you heard any clicks, that was like my. I think I coughed. Or <laughs> if you heard any clicks, that was my fucking shotgun, <laughs> dude. I'm getting ready to shoot yeah. some clay pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So get, get it right. <laughs> Have you just heard a a deafening gunshot right now? <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be so, that'd be so funny if we like <laughs> i brought up clay pigeons at the beginning of the podcast and you don't mention them at all since and then like 40 minutes later i just hear like <laughs> what was that and you're like oh sorry did i not tell you i'm out in a field i, I got some clay pigeons <laughs> i'm at the shooting range i brought i brought my my computer with me to keep recording yeah it sounded fun what you were talking about so i'm just out here <laughs> i had to get out there now. <laughs> I had to put uh, I had to put my gun where my me- where your mouth was. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> and then shoot. Put your gun uh, where my mouth is. <laughs> uh, how are we? What are we at? Forty something. Uh, um, I've got two minutes over here on my end. So. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Um. Fuck. Well, what have you been? Um. Have you been finding it harder to like get stuff done in this? the this this trying time Um, because i have well not for any particular reason but a little bit um Mm -hmm. i just feel like when like you know how like i don't know if other people have this but like when i get sick i'm like okay i can't really do any work right now but once this is over that's when i'm gonna you know get on the grind so i'm i'm having that kind of but just like with this multiple months long epidemic where i'm like once this is over <laughs> this i'm yeah. <laughs> gonna be back on my grind when this whole covid19 thing ends it's over for y'all oh, it's over for y'all yeah I, and for yeah. now i'm just sort of like coasting <laughs> and it's gonna once this thing is done years from now oh man <laughs> yeah this just lasts for <laughs> just our entire wait. lifetime and i'm just like the whole time i'm like ooh wee you're gonna <laughs> eat your words when this is over <laughs> you wait covid 
<laughs> I'm coming out hot on the deathbed. Yeah. No, I don't know. Once Have you I'm been dead. Like, e- like equally productive? I, I, I don't know. I feel like I've been. I feel like I've been less productive. Like once I'm like doing stuff, I like I get stuff done. But I'm finding it harder to like actually just like get up and do things. Mm. Um, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's like I think I was talking to Drew. Do you know Drew? Uh, yeah, Barrymore. Yeah, I was talking to Drew Barrymore. Mm. Uh, and then she was like, so when I was on the, the, so when I did ET and I was like, uh, uh, sorry, I'm talking about me right now, bitch. (laughs) And then she was like, she just kept talking about ET. Uh, but no, I was talking to Drew Barrymore about like, uh, being like unproductive now. And then he, or she was like, yeah, this is like the hardest I've, I've, been the hardest mm. I the hardest I've been this the hardest is, time I've had. It's the hardest I've been in a long time. Man. <laughs> I don't know COVID what it shit. is about a global pandemic. Just <laughs> gets I my think... rocks going. <laughs> what a what a weird kink to have. <laughs> I've, this is my sexual awakening finally. Yeah, I've got a virus kink. Yeah, <laughs> this global pandemic got me rock hard. Um, but yeah, it's it's been weird, man. I don't know. I was I read this thing. Um, they're saying that like live shows and stuff probably won't happen until like late 2021. Which Jeez. I hope is false. I, that sucks, dude. Yeah, that's so sad. That, I mean, it's sad that like we haven't been able to do anything like this year, or like you know, or yeah, that your, like your entire tour got canceled. That that blows. I know it, it fucking blows. Yeah, we like rescheduled a bunch too for like like the Chicago ones that were supposed to be like last week. Yeah, and then they got rescheduled for July. I but know, I don't even know dude. If that's I was gonna there. Happen. I was like ready to ready to watch, and you, like no yeah. one ever showed up. I, oh, you were at the you were at the venue. Yeah, because remember I was gonna come, so I was like, all right, I'll just meet Kurt. I haven't heard from him, but I'll just meet him there and. Um, but then you, uh, you just like didn't show up, and I saw later on social media that like the shows Did you kn- got like might have been rescheduled or something. Like you were thinking about rescheduling the show. E- yeah, I have court. I don't. So I was like there. I was just like waiting there for like two days after the show was supposed to happen, and then like I saw that you. Why were, were you thinking why would about you spend- maybe not doing it or rescheduling it? Like you were still thinking of thinking about it. So you got you got. You were at the venue. Yeah. At the venue it, the where show... you were going to do stand up, yeah. Yes, I get I know. Okay. I feel like yeah. So and then you were there and the show didn't happen. Yeah, well, yeah. So you stayed I there because no yeah. one was there. And they right. Let of, me in. of course. Um So you, then you stayed there for another 2 days without checking your phone or anything to see if it was canceled? Yeah. Well, I didn't have my phone cuz it it died cuz I was there for 2 days. So I because i I used my phone to navigate to the venue and i walked it took a really long time so i my phone died while i was doing that so i got there and then i was there for two days and i didn't even know that it was two days okay but you said that you said there were people at the venue though they said they wouldn't let you in right they wouldn't let me in so hard that they weren't even there (laughs) okay okay yeah. So they wouldn't let you in so hard that no. Okay. That they were. They, okay. Yeah. They weren't even there. That's how much they, they didn't weren't want even, me to come in. Right. So, so that wasn't a give. That wasn't a dead giveaway for you to just like walk home. I guess. I thought maybe I was early. Okay. Or that you know, because sometimes you know comedians that are late to things. That's kind of like a <laughs> stereotype. So I was like, okay, he's probably Yeah, but late. two days? And two days, though? I, my phone died. So right. I didn't know what time it was, did I? So I thought maybe it had only been a couple hours. I was waiting outside. You, there, you could have went to any establishment and been like, wait, what time is it? What day is it? Right? Come on. I'm... I'm I, I'm sorry. I came and tried to support you. I waited yeah. out in the cold in my underwear. And the <laughs> thanks that I get, you're and all you can do is blame. 
Yeah. I mean, okay, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I should have anticipated you walking in your underwear for some reason for hours. Yeah. To my show. Yeah. I'm very I'm it's, it's I'm like, in the wrong for sure. Yeah. And then so I'm mm-hmm. still not sure if the show's happening or just It's not. Happen, it's it's what? postponed. Okay. You're you're where are you right now? Huh? Where <laughs> Where are you right now? You're n- One second. Let me in. <laughs> let me in. Hey, let me in. Sorry. What did you say, Curtis? I was asking where you were right now, but I feel like I know I'm at the venue. now. Yeah, you're yeah, at, the I'm venue. at the venue. Oh I'm boy, I'm sure gonna be any minute it could get rescheduled to right now. I gotta be ready. Yeah, well, I feel like if I, if if it's gonna be your schedule, I would let you know, right? Like I'd be the one. I don't know. You didn't tell like... me it was canceled. I feel like I did though. Huh? Right. God, I feel like... my phone was probably dead. Okay, you gotta charge your phone, man. <laughs> Just once. I haven't charged my phone in years, and look how and look how happy I am. <laughs> yeah, look how terrible you are with plans and, and look showing how cold up places. I am in my underwear yeah. outside this venue. <laughs> uh, I was gonna. I'm gonna be real crossed if I look at the footage that you send me and you're not at that venue. Oh, when I'm editing this podcast. Well, it's because because so if you're lying to me. Okay, but just know this: it's a weird looking venue. Okay, there's I guess like, I've never seen the venue. There's like a the wall. There's the door to get in, but in front of uh-huh. it is like carpet and stuff. So and there's like S- and there's like um a window and curtains. So I'm just describing the outside of the venue. There's a light stand and there's my <laughs> printer. And that, and so your printer is at the venue? I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I brought my printer so I could print out my ticket. <laughs> so, <laughs> so from, <laughs> you walked several hours in your yeah, underwear holding miles. a printer. Thir- you walked 30 miles in your underwear in the cold hold, brought your with a printer in hand. Let me get one thing straight. <laughs> I didn't start in my underwear, okay? I started naked. So you found underwear on the way. Mm-hmm. You printed a pair of underwear on the way. And thank and you God put, I did. Yeah, because then you would have been really cold. Mm-hmm. Um, but thank God the outside of the venue was inside your house, so that's good. I don't know where you're getting that from. Okay. I Well, I'm getting it from your description, but I appreciate the support, I guess, but you can probably go home. Yeah. Well, I'm just probably going to wait here in my underwear. I'm just glad okay. I got the underwear in time because if they if I was naked, actually naked, I don't think they would let me in. Right. Well, I still think they won't let you in because you're just you know you get like no shirt, <laughs> no shoes, no dick. Uh, no no <laughs> no dick. Hmm? Is that what you said? No shirt, no shoes, no dick. Is that what you just said? Did I not tell you that that about what I, that I got it stuck in the printer? You did. No, you didn't tell me that. I got it stuck in the printer. <laughs> How, why was it anywhere close to the printer? I was trying to put on my underwear that I was printing out. Okay, and you kind of got excited. I got too excited and started to put it on while it was still coming out. <laughs> I don't know. I've been alone for so long that printer was starting to look <laughs> mighty fine. Well, I mean, I know you can't see the printer, but w- like you know, when you look over this footage, you will see that it does. Yeah, it look. It is pretty hot. It's a it's a it's a thick printer. It's like a, it's like Tom Hanks and Wilson and Castaway. Yeah, but like um, you know how he the, fucks ball, the ball, ball. Yeah, but you know how like the ball was just like kind of sexy. <laughs> yeah, like kind of like a girl next door type vibe. Yeah, but this printer is like bombshell. Yeah, like you yeah. Would, you wouldn't even want to fuck the printer. Right, because it's it's too hot. It's, it's too hot. And it's got my yeah. dick inside it. <laughs> you wouldn't want to go anywhere near that yeah. with all it. It's, it's so inky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Speaking of printers, with speaking of fucking a printer. <laughs> speaking of fucking a printer, I was actually fucking a printer yesterday, and I was thinking, like, you know what, Danny would 
love to get in on this action. Yeah, I probably would, as long as like this printer, um, like it would be okay with it. Uh, they wouldn't. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, just don't tell him. Him. Nice. Um. Oh. Don't tell um. That's the name. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. That's his name. Um. That's his name. That's. <laughs> 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 He's a, he's a sexy, beautiful man. Mm-hmm. Named Um, and he's my friend. Um, <laughs> uh, um, well, uh, what are we at? 50-something? Cool. We could probably edit there, I guess. Yeah, I got two minutes uh, on here. Okay, still? Yeah, it's been two minutes the whole time, uh, pretty much for, uh, <laughs> for the last hour or so. And... Okay, I thought you were joking before, and I thought you would have just like fixed the problem, right? But it's just two minutes. Um, yeah, I know. I know it. Is. I know it says two minutes. I feel uh, like that's not the issue I'm having. Now it's counting down. Oh no! Uh oh. Ten, nine. How? It's counting really no. fast. <laughs> no. <laughs> it skipped every other number. <laughs> this is a gunshot at the end. <laughs> My clay pigeon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having like a bird cage in your house, but like for like a pet bird, but it's just a clay pigeon. <laughs> it's just a, a clay disc, and it repeats everything you say. That's a clay parrot. <laughs> oh, that's a clay parrot. That's a clay parrot. Don't clay shoot down. me. <laughs> that's a clay aiken. I have clay aiken in a cage. Wait, C- cage aiken. If there, oh Clay's no! Clay's aching in that cage. Clay's aching. I'm aching. Get me out of here. I'm aching. Um, Jim aching. Uh, Clay if there's a Clay be crazy. <laughs> if there's a Clay aching, you think there's just a a regular aching out there? I guess you would think. Yeah, if there's Clay pigeons and there's regular pigeons, there's a pigeons. so a, the Clay aching, a regular aching is just like a fleshy disc of man. Yeah, by the if you if we're using the same logic. Yeah, the rapper. If if logic is if if there's yeah. a clay logic too. Mm-hmm. Anyways. C- yeah, I was gonna say if there's like a clay aching, is there like a mud aching or like a right dirt dirt aching dirt aching sand aching water aching? There's an aching for all the elements because clay <laughs> is one of the elements, I guess. The fire aching, the water aching, and the air aching. <laughs> yeah, av- Avatar, the last aching bender. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. That was that was fun. Did you did you have fun? Yeah, I'm just so cold because I'm be- I've been out here for weeks now. Yeah, I okay. Danny, you're you're hearing it from me, okay? The person okay. who's who's doing the show at that venue. And this is Curtis, your friend Curtis. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I get it. Okay. So you know what I'm gonna say? The show it's not happening the show until is on tonight. The show the show is the, let me finish. The show must the go show, on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You're gonna you're you're gonna hear what you want, so yeah, the show must go on. <laughs> All <laughs> right. At least you have your uh you have um there at to keep I you company. Have my pride. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know if I would go that far, but you have a printer there that you could hey, fuck, I guess. Hey, some guy just stole my printer! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Curtis. He's gonna fuck, um... He is already. <laughs> oh, no, it's so fast. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they hit it off. No! Yeah, that's the last They're thing I saw mates. before he rounded the corner with the printer is he started fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> While he was running, <laughs> he couldn't wait, dude. <laughs> um, it's just so hot. <laughs> oh, running while scr- while fucking is very funny. That's a crazy thing. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, wow. Well, good for that. I mean, not good for you, but good for that guy. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty happy for him. You know, <laughs> if if I can't yeah. have the printer, then. He's the he's the next guy I would want to have him because he seems pretty funny. 
<laughs> you see, okay. Now, now you're okay with them. Okay. <laughs> I pretty get over things pretty fast. The one thing I can't get over is this show, which I'm really excited for. I know. I wish you could, though. I feel really bad that you're still there. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, you could just go home, but it's all good. Um. Well, thanks for you thanks for being it. on. You, sorry, you couldn't see, but I was shaking my head. So when you yeah, see, when could. you edit this, you'll see that I was shaking my head. Okay. Well, I won't be editing this. You will be. Oh no. <laughs> And I'll just need a a printout of the transcript. Um, so whatever thing you have there to you know print that out would be great. Um, all right. <laughs> it's just a, touchy subject. Yeah, it's kind of a touchy. I'm sorry. Right uh, okay. Well, thanks. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming on. Yeah. Thanks pod. for having me. Um, I hope you're. Uh, you know miss you hopefully we can we can all hang out in person one I know. day again <laughs> yeah I, that's Brutal. like that's sad why when, when are we gonna hang out again yeah i don't know uh, man probably never probably never so it's okay. yeah so that's honestly that's probably better but yeah it's it's fine um but yeah maybe one day uh yeah. but yeah thanks uh if any if if people want to follow uh you if they don't already um they can go to at, it's at i fuck printers right or it's at i fuck printer on instagram and at twitter it's at i'm going to kill clay aiken yeah and then you could just go to those and follow him he posts daily updates about fucking his printer yeah, and, and killing clay aiken. Kill clay aiken. <laughs> <laughs> your twitter account's been taken down a million times yeah but i it, mean you're I violate blunt. a lot of their policies, <laughs> yeah. but to be fair to me, it's that's <laughs> what I'm passionate about. So. And you can't rob a, a, a young, tiny little baby boy of his passion. No, you Mm-mm. can't. It's it's unjust. Yeah. Uh, well, that was episode uh, 94 or 800 or 2000. I don't know what episode it was, but... Let's call it a million. Okay, okay yeah. Episode 1 million. Uh, you can like comment uh send it send it to send it to me and then uh subscribe Mm -hmm. all right yeah okay i will okay and everyone else you don't gotta do a thing (laughs) (laughs) it was just directed at me (laughs) (laughs) uh all right (laughs) that's all i want i just want the the likes and comments and subscriptions from my buddies okay that was that's that's the episode thank you danny Thank you, Dan. Thank. Uh, uh, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>